a lot of day traders make the critical mistake of hopping on the charts and then immediately seeing something and willy-nilly just entering a trade, not doing previous analysis, not spending the time to mark up their charts. And that is the one thing that you can do that's really gonna change your day trading because if instead of getting on the charts and entering a trade right away because you're in such a rush to make some money, you can sit there, mark up the charts, find the zones where you want your trade to be entered at, and then leave the charts and set alerts for those price ranges so that when the alert triggers, you get a notification on your phone, you hop back on the chart, you look at the setup, and you enter your trade and you walk away. Most professional traders do it this way. So in this video, I'm gonna mark up a chart for you to see how I would do it, and then what areas I'm gonna be waiting for and what indicators I can lay over that to find the best entry. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable. Let's not waste anybody's time. Hop right on the charts. We're gonna be marking up NAS 100 on the one hour time frame. Okay, so most people hop on the charts. They get on the one minute chart. They see this you know, huge high right here. Price starts coming down. Then they see a failure to make a higher high right here, and they're like, cool, I'm gonna get into a short position. And then they get into a short position. They don't even consider what time it is. And then what happens, because it's 6 a.m right now market just like does this and then grabs a little bit of liquidity down here and then swoops liquidity here and then goes up here grabs all this liquidity and then comes down here and then the market opens hits the equilibrium line and takes off and you got stopped out six times before the market even opened because you were not patient and you didn't mark up your charts so instead of being a complete idiot what I want you to do is take it out to the one hour time frame fit the chart you know at a relatively, like you could see multiple months or days or weeks of price. This goes all the way back from today to the end of April. So what you can do is mark that pivot low, mark the pivot high, and put a horizontal ray on every one of these pivot points where price retraced a little bit and then shot up aggressively. Like you want these V shapes when you're marking up these zones. Every single one of those is important because this is all market structure that price needs to get through because you can clearly see we're in a new downtrend. And what it's going to do is sweep liquidity below every one of these points on the way down to here draw a trend line 45 degrees you can see price was trending up failed to make a higher high broke the trend and is now going down another trend line 45 degrees multiple touches now we can get down to a lower time frame our bias is bearish there are two likely scenarios at this point either it comes all the way down here or if we take a Fibonacci retracement from the bottom to the top it might retrace in the Fibonacci gold zone so the most likely answer at this point is right here currently price is here at 14,939 and will most likely go to 14,222 that's your safe bet I'm convinced though there's a ton of liquidity living down here market will continue to push down and get to this level which is 12,713 if you're looking for a swing trade now we can take it down to the 15 minute chart and as you can see my markup is probably going to play out perfectly but what we need to wait for is a confluence in this area we already have our downtrend right here we have our level of support and resistance or supply and demand or order block whatever you want to call it they're all the same if you disagree with me please let me know in the comment section how those three are different I can't wait to do clown emojis on your comments so overall downtrend on the one hour but on the 15 minute we have an uptrend what I'm looking for at this point is price to come back up here to test this trend line right here and come down that's 14,953 to 14,866 that's a nice scalp price might reject off of that come up wick out of this trend line to capture liquidity above this zone, which is also known liquidity right here, which it already grabbed a little bit of, as you can see, me hovering over that previous high, you can see that the wick just barely tapped above that zone. So now there's even more liquidity above here. There's a high probability it will wick above that and reject down. That's your first price target. It will reject off of that and then continue down. Then come back up in a huge upswing, making people think it's a bull market while continuing with the overall hourly downtrend and then break down some more. Come up to retest break down. That's how I see this price going. So now we can add some indicators to help us identify things that we wouldn't normally see with our naked eye if we're either unskilled enough or we just like the additional help. 
The TTF SMC toolkit is really helpful when it comes to smart money concepts, theories, and techniques. Looking at the market open price, the midnight line, as well as each market session's first hour of the open. That is known as the DR and IDR range. For example, the first hour of London session, that range that it creates right there, once it breaks above that range or below that range, it will usually trade that for the remainder of the day. So we had the London session right here on this area of support and resistance, supply and demand or an order block shot up broke above that zone and remained trading up the remainder of the day so once it broke that zone you could have simply targeted the next blue line that we had drawn up new york sessions opening range price came up came down grabbed liquidity below this swing retested the trend line and shot up broke above that zone and remained trading up for the rest of the day this is tokyo session tokyo session usually stays relatively flat as there is low volume in the market so now the next session that we're waiting for is going to be london session as you can see previously here we had tokyo session remaining relatively flat coming down and then shooting up so now we have tokyo session remaining relatively flat coming up it's most likely going to grab the liquidity above this zone and then london session is going to open and it's going to go down because as you can see right here we had that tokyo session price came down if we look at the low point right here where it made its first rejection creating that trend line it simply just grabbed liquidity below these wicks so now we have very obvious liquidity here with the overall hourly downtrend so between now and 9 a.m we are looking for price to come up to our trend line and reject below our blue support and resistance and take a short trade for today now if you're curious about what candle exactly to get in on you can use buy sell indicators either the ones that we've created or whatever your favorite is that you're using right now according to your back tested strategy but what i'm going to put up on the charts is an indicator known as happy trail i'm going to choose case three this will give me signals on the chart that i'm on as well as a higher time frame confluence on the one hour so because we were in this short-term uptrend with the overall downtrend right here so our short-term bias was an uptrend and because we're scalping we can still snag a couple of points up to our support and resistance zones one thing to keep in mind we do not trade the first opening hour of any session it is an absolute no-no so price came down grab liquidity and then we got a bearish signal right here we don't take the bearish signal because our short-term bias is bullish up to this trend take a long position at close of candle target that zone one to 2.3 so now we are waiting for price to get back up to this zone so what i'm going to do since i marked up my charts I know what direction I'm planning on trading for the day. I want price to come back up here to 14,954. And at that point, I'm looking for a wick to break above this previous candles high. So I'm just gonna hover over this price, go all the way to the right hand side and hit this plus icon and add an alert on NAS 100 at $14,954.83. That alert will happen when price crosses that point right here only once and it will send an alert on my app on my phone show a pop-up or you can select sending an email or playing a sound or it can send you a text and now what you can do is go to the gym work out do whatever you want and wait for price to get to an area where you actually want to enter a trade instead of sitting here entering a short position and getting stopped out here then entering another short position and getting stopped out here and then feeling dumb because you got stopped out twice and then taking a long position and then it wicks up above here grabs liquidity hits your stop loss again just wait for price to get to an area of interest for you according to your markup and you'll be good to go this has been a short public service announcement on how to not be an idiot